Hello, we're going to be Unity Demo. It's called Dark Daemon. If you're playing this and you've played it for the first time, um, yes, it is mostly negative and it's it's okay. But if you've got um, a non-English UI, just hit the first button, hit the top button, hit the top button again, hit the big red button, hit skip in the middle, and then in the top right hand corner hit the cog and make sure it goes language English, then close the game and reopen. And then it should go back to English. So I played this game for a little while. And when I say a little while, I mean minutes because uh, it's 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 a nothing burger. You don't even waste your time. Like once you've finished watching this video, you'll you'll know enough and you'll know not to not to even bother. So it describes itself as a fantasy themed RPG in a dark world. Players need to constantly improve their combat power and strategically challenge various monsters and mon monsters and monsters embarking on an unprecedented adventure journey. It already has a DLC. The DLC is a novice gift pack. The novice gift pack gives you straight up player power. So it gives you wings, gives you diamonds, which is a fake premium currency. And I'll talk about that in a sec. Gold coins, dark gold equipment box. So loot box, golden jewelry box, another loot box, large blood bottle, health potions. So just briefly, it describes itself as an adventure RPG strategy, dark, dark fantasy, exploration, tactical RPG, mystery dungeon, souls like dungeon crawler, party based RPG, strategy based, strategy based RPG, turn based tactics, noir, medieval demons, roguevania, magic, hand drawn, single player. It is not a tactical RPG. It is not a mystery dungeon. It is not souls like. It is not a dungeon crawler. It is not party based RPG. It is not strategy RPG. It is not turn based uh, turn based at all. I do not see the noir. Yes, there's medieval. Yes, there's demons. And no, this is not a roguevania. So, going back to the DLC. The DLC is described as a rare gift pack designed specifically for beginners, which can significantly enhance your combat survival abilities, making you more confident in the early stages of your adventure. We specifically, especially prepared a rich beginner gift package, including valuable resources such as wings, diamonds, coins, equipment, boxes, potions, to provide sufficient logistical support for your character's growth to help quickly improve your strength. You get wings, you get diamonds, you get gold coins, etc, etc. You don't need it. Um, it is what I believe a... This is a mobile game, basically. This is a mobile game through and through. So we're going to... So it's WASD to move. Um, so you get on the teleporter, it goes straight to a thing. Um, you click the things on the map. Um, if you click past something, um, it'll just wipe it and you'll lose it. It auto plays. Well, it auto plays to an extent. So you do have to move the character around. Um, but basically what's going to happen is you're just going to keep doing this. And if you play your Path of Exile or Diablo or something like that, then you'll see the way they do their items and stats and itemization and everything is pretty much identical. And not that's, that's not a bad thing. That's fine. Um, the only problem I have with this is that this is basically a premium... It's a freemium pay to win mobile game disguised as a PC game and it looks like they're using the DLC function to get around in-app purchases. That's my opinion and the reason I say that is because there's diamonds in the game that you can earn through just playing the game, sure, just like every other freemium game you can earn that currency but you know you'll be taking a hundred years of your life in order to get enough, enough to actually get something. or you can buy 3,680 diamonds by buying the novice pack off the DLC. So, yes, you didn't buy it in the app, but you're still buying that kind of stuff. So it's the same as if you were to go to um, uh, Black Desert Online. They have the pearls. You can buy the pearls from Steam. Um, that's your premium currency, and that's fine. But they also sell packs, and the packs will sell the currency at a different rate, but also add things like um, some other items and stuff. But it's all stuff from the cash shop, basically. But because you've bought it off the store page, you techni it's technically not a in-app purchase. Technically. So, uh, so, however you want to look at it. It's however you want to quantify it. It's totally up to you. But this is the entire game. This is this is bad as as good as it's gonna get. So if you ever wanted a 
really, really, really bad version of... Well, it's kind of insulting to liken it, even, even if you don't like the way uh, Blizzard has treated Diablo. Look at them titties, damn. Um, even if you don't like the way that Blizzard has done Diablo. I'm dead. Even if you don't like the way that they've done those games, it's sort of like that, but a really bad version of it. So this NPC is going to give you a quest. Um, they're pretty easy, they're pretty dumb, but she's going to give you the quest. She's just going to appear out of nowhere. Then you got the blacksmith. The blacksmith is going to do all your incremental upgrades, so your you know one two percent here and there by giving items and that kind of stuff. But that's it. That's the entire game. So you're just going to go along and you're just going to keep pushing the buttons. Cool. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at uh, C, which is roll or your inventory. And notice how the top left hand corner we've got a, a crossover from another part of the game because there's no widescreen support because that's just the way it is. So basically what you want to do is you're going to click on all of the things that are green arrows because green arrows are upgrades. And it's not it's not smart enough to understand the difference between all of the um, the itemizations. All it does is just go by level. Um, and that's kind of it's okay. But yeah, so this is where this is where I got up to. So I've run out of gold and I've gone to buy a skill. Insufficient gold coins. Did I spend 30 diamonds to buy 160,000 gold coins? So if you want diamonds, how do you get them? Well, you got to do those quests. But those quests give you like five, ten diamonds each. And this is only going to get bigger because like your top-down ARPG games, part of Exile, Diablo, all that, you should know that it's all incremental. Um, you're going to get to the point where your damage is in the trillions or even higher. So your skills are going to be higher. So the cost is going to be higher. How do you offset that? Diamonds. And the most efficient way to get the diamonds, buy the DLC pack. So I can foresee that that's probably what's going to happen. So we'll just humor this for a bit more. So and I'm guessing the DLC pack was chosen specifically to be powerful at the start of the game because my ass is getting handed to me and we've only just started. But this is the game, this is it. So I believe this is why it's mostly negative. Whether anyone's actually tried this hard, I really don't know. And there we go. So yeah, so more uh, wear more than five pieces of white quality. We got a hundred diamonds out of that one. That's fine. Increase the skill once again. Tip roll skill. All right, cool. So we have to increase the skill. So lightning nova. Yo. So walk away, come back, receive. No diamonds in that one. Decompose five items. Tip backpack and decompose. Backpack, and then what's the item to decompose? Decompose. Shift. We can sell them, we can't decompose them. Hmm, don't know. Maybe that's something you have to unlock later. Um, so if we go back to backpack again, so because I am level 6, so we get 88 diamonds and one legendary weapon for each class level 10. So that's just part of the game when you when you do the thing. You can only obtain it after killing the boss. You can exchange it for a top-notch equipment in the exchange shop. 
That's concerning, isn't it? The exchange shop. Alright, what do we got here? We can't use that yet because it's level 7 on level 6. More attributes here. Skill. So we need more points. Combat system. No. No mail. Okay, so and then we have the map. So I'm sure you've seen maps like this before. Um, the only thing that's missing out of here is a star system. So, you know, you go from map to map to map, and if you clear it properly, you get three stars. Um, I'm assuming with up the top right-hand corner, it's got normal, so I'm assuming there's probably going to be the thing where you have to do the whole thing all over again, but on a harder mode. Um, we've got potions here. Potions seem to be uh, non-translated yet, but we got that. Um, I'm sure there'll be... There you go. They join mag... Yeah, there we put that one there. So maybe they might be um, automated. Because that's usually the next step in these games is um, they start automating everything for you. All right, so we're back here again. So you don't get to choose your class either or anything. now. So yeah, this is the game. No music. and clear this out and then that'll be it I don't know why I'm trying but yeah so this game when it was released I think I don't know if I mentioned it on this one if I mentioned it yet seven people seven people have played this game according to Steam TV. So if you haven't played it, you're not missing much. Alright, victory. Apparently there's two more squares left, but I guess not. So we get experience, prestige, and something else. But I need to decompose, which I can't do because I don't know how to do it because it's very poorly translated. Uh, ranking list. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder how many of those are real. Don't know. Nope, oh, they're too close. What's in here? Pass reward. Complete all the chapters thingy. Okay. I don't know what that did, but whatever. I don't know what that says. 
Store. Here we go. We buy stuff with gems. Black market exchange. Three times two. So we can refresh the store every bits and pieces. Very free to play esque. I mean, it is a free game. Like, but this is this was marked as a demo. So yeah. Apprentice hammer, use when strengthening equipment. It must be strengthened to plus three. Yeah. All the incremental stuff that comes with it. Um, tips. You're currently in a trial version. Cannot access. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, I'll leave it there. Um, it is mostly negative. You're not missing out on much. Um, it needs a lot of work if it's going to get anywhere decent, which I don't think it will. This is a mobile game. This is not a PC game. Um, I think it needs to stay on mobile. Um, I'm concerned about the whole DLC thing as well. Um, in-app purchases, avoiding in-app purchases by having DLC instead. Uh, don't know about that, but hey, um, uh, nothing I can do about it. So yeah, but there you go. That's uh, Dark Damon. It's um, it's pretty boring. It's pretty terrible. Um, yeah, hard pass. See ya.